Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to create such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system that anyone can use. To use FreeCAD, you just need to download it, install it, and you can start using it. You don't need to register anywhere, you don't need to provide any information, and there is even a version of FreeCAD that does not require installation. So in fact, we can download the FreeCAD files run the program and start creating our own 3D models. In fact, within a few minutes we can start creating our own 3D models and I think FreeCAD can be an interesting solution for many people. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now, let's move on to FreeCAD and I will show you how to create such a part. I will start a new project. We will create this project in the Part Design Workbench. So we choose a parametric part and start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Select Create Sketch. Then, as the sketch plane, choose the XY plane. Here, we will start by creating a circle whose center will lie at the origin of the coordinate system select Draw Circle, and as the center of the circle, select the origin of the coordinate system. As you hover over this point, it will be highlighted. Click the left mouse button. Next, specify the diameter of the circle. Enter 100 millimeters and press Enter. We close the sketch, and based on this sketch, we will add a pad, but we will also use an additional parameter here, that will allow us to add the pad at an angle. Select the pad operation. And here, as you can see at the moment, we are creating a regular pad. Here I will change the length of the pad to 20 millimeters. As for the parameter value in this field, we can enter this value from the keyboard, but we can also change this value using the mouse wheel. If you want to add a pad at an angle, you can use the tapper angle parameter. Enter 20 degrees, and the pad will be added in that way. We click OK, and we have such a solid. Now, based on this solid, I will show you how to create a wall with a specified thickness, and we will use the thickness operation for this. Here, we will do it in such a way that we will remove this face. Select this face and choose the thickness operation. At this moment, an error appeared. I would like to add a wall with a thickness of 3 millimeters to the inside of the solid. I have the thickness inwards option checked, but at this moment I cannot do that. If I uncheck this option, I can add a thickness to the outside, then this solid will be enlarged and we could leave it like that. It looks good. However, if you would like to add a thickness to the inside of the solid, in this case you can change the option from arc to intersection, and this way we can create such a solid. We click OK, and this way we have created something like this. Now we will create another sketch. Select Create Sketch. This time we will create a sketch on the XZ plane. Choose the XZ plane as the sketch plane. Then switch to Section View. Here we will create a rectangle. Select the Centered Rectangle command. Also check the Rounded Corners option. As for the center of the rectangle, place it on the y-axis. When the y-axis is highlighted, click the left mouse button. Now, for the dimensions of the rectangle, enter 5 millimeters. Hit enter, 10 millimeters, and hit enter. As for the radius value, enter 2 millimeters, and press enter. Right-click to finish drawing the rectangle. Here we need to specify one more dimension, we will add the distance of this point from the origin of the coordinate system. Select this point and press the D key. Here, a dimension will be automatically added from the origin of the coordinate system. Click the left mouse button here and enter 10 millimeters as the dimension value. And close the sketch. Based on this sketch, we will remove material from this solid and we will do this using the pocket operation. Select this operation. 
and as the type choose through all. This way we created a pocket in this solid. We click OK. Now we will create more copies of this pocket using the polar pattern operation. Select the pocket operation, choose the polar pattern command, then as the pattern axis select the base Z axis and enter the number of copies as 25. Click next to this field to update the preview and click OK. As you can see with these few steps we have created such a solid. It is a relatively simple solid but in this video I wanted to show you a few simple operations including how to add a pad at an angle.